One of the critical functions of our activities here is to keep a count on the number of dolphins that are driven into the cove, the number that are taken into captivity, the number that on the rare occasion are released back into the wild, and then the number that are killed and uh, chopped up for food. Uh, we don't trust the numbers that the Fisherman's Union is reporting. Um, we think that they have inflated those numbers over the years. Um, we speculate as to why they would do that. Perhaps their killing practices are indeed reducing the number of dolphins off this coast, uh, like this type of practice has eliminated dolphins from other uh, coastal areas of Japan. Perhaps they're trying to inflate these numbers to uh, uh, argue that we are not being effective. And when we are able to show that the numbers are down from uh, a year before or the numbers reported from before that uh, is an indication to us that our presence is effective, that it's, uh, um, it's slowing down uh, their ability to hunt and to kill because they have to take these extraordinary measures to hide from us. Uh, so the numbers are very important and uh, we are, are determined to be as accurate as we possibly can be with those numbers. We also uh, want to know where these dolphins are going. Are they ending up in the amusement parks right here in Taiji? Uh, where are they going throughout Japan and throughout the rest of the world? Uh, we also want to know where the dolphin meat is going. Uh, we know quite a bit of it is consumed right here in Taiji. We also know that often uh, dolphin meat is mislabeled and called whale. Uh, so it brings a higher price and is more acceptable in other places in Japan. Um, most Japanese people with whom we've spoken or other people have spoken to uh, would not consider eating a dolphin but might consider eating a whale. And so these, uh, these fishermen understand the economics of mislabeling their products. So uh, part of our effort is to follow that trail of blood. Sea Shepherd is not ashamed to be standing here in defense of these dolphins. We proudly wear our uniforms, fly our flags, we have uh, uh, markings on our cars. We are not ashamed at all to be here. We are proud to be here. Let's contrast to the uh, efforts that the uh, fishermen, the dolphin fishermen, are uh, doing to try to hide what they're doing. Um, their behavior surely indicates shame and embarrassment of what they do. Uh, the killing season starts September 1 and generally ends uh, the end of March. But uh, during the off-season, uh, this is a uh, very popular tourist destination. It's a, uh, it's a national park, uh, it's a big swimming destination, um, and uh, we, are, we are considering having a full-time, year-round presence here. We want to educate the Japanese public and the occasional Westerner that comes by as to what happens here, what is the truth of this place. Many people have asked, uh, what age do you have to be to come be a Cove Guardian? Um, it doesn't matter. We've had, uh, we've had some elderly folks here with us. Uh, we've middle-aged, young. Uh, we've had nursing uh, children with their parents. Uh, we've had teenagers come. It's very exciting to see uh, the wide range of ages um, and nationalities that come and join us here. So uh, don't let that hold you back. If you're interested, uh, uh, you know, write to me at coveguardian at seashepherd.org. And uh, if by chance you can't join us, either you, you can't get that much time off um, or you can't put all that money together because it is expensive, uh, think about making a donation to Sea Shepherd to help fund uh, uh, the operation here because um, uh, we can't do this without your support.